traditional Chinese cultural Shen Yu. Let's give our speaker Yuri a round of applause, please. Honorary Rotarians, distinguished guests, um, good afternoon. My name is Muriel Wu, and it's a real honor for me to have this opportunity to speak at your club, and I thank you all for this opportunity. Actually, I'm seeing, as Amy pointed out, I, I'm sitting here today for Shirley. Um, well, I think Shirley will make a very charismatic speaker, and I can't imagine myself to quite be her equal, but I'll do my best. But one thing I do have in common with Shirley, that is our shared passion for traditional Chinese culture. And that is why I agreed to accept her invitation to be her replacement to speak here today with you about Shen Yun. Okay, and I think this is really a very crucial moment for us to revisit traditional Chinese culture. Why so? Well. We have been a very we have been through a very turbulent week. Last week we just had the air crash, right? And then last night we had that prison riot broke out. So at this time it makes us wonder, you know, our society seems to be taking a downward spiral. You know, if we look at if we look at the words that have been selected by the Taiwanese society as representative of the year, of recent years, for example, like for the year 2012, the word selected to represent the year is anxiety. And then for year 2013, that's falsehood. And then for last year, can you make a guess? It does not change for the better, unfortunately. It gets even worse. It's unscrupulousness. So as you can see, our society seems to be taking a direction that we don't that we don't want to see, but we have seen it unfolding. So I think it's really a very crucial moment for us to revisit the lofty values that our 5,000 years of traditional Chinese culture has passed down upon us and see if we can take some wisdom from it. Well, I think luckily this year, this coming Lunar New Year, is the year of GOAT. And we just might find some way out of this downward spiral. And you may say, why so? Well. Let's take a look at the word beauty. As we can see, the original oracle script for the word beauty looks like this. And do you see the upper part? Can you recognize what that is? Well, actually, this represents the goat head. So this shows a person wearing a goat head mask doing the dancing, doing the dancing for the heavens. So the original meaning of beauty, well, as ancient Chinese put it, they think it comes from the worshiping of the gods, the worshiping of the deities. So at the very beginning, beauty is deeply connected with the reverence humankind have towards the heavens. And also, as you can see, if a person reveres the surroundings, the nature, that means the person lives in harmony with the nature. So that brings us to the next slide. Next. Well, here you see another Chinese word that is shan, compassion. Well, let's look at the Oracle script. Here, could you recognize this time the goat? Well, it's here, right? The upper part. 
So here you see the big horns. And then you see this is, this is the eye. Well, as the saying goes, the eyes are the window to the soul. So ancient Chinese people believe if you want to tell a person who is very compassionate, you can see from his or her eyes. So a person, if he has eyes that look like as gentle, mild, and virtuous as a gold, then the person must be compassionate. So what does that mean? Well, that brings us to this. Well, according to the expert on words, Chinese words, Xu Shen from the Eastern Han Dynasty. He writes on his authoritative book, Analytical Dictionary of Chinese Characters. He says that beauty and compassion have the same meaning. And what does that mean? That means if something that is beautiful, whatever is beautiful, must be good. And for something that's truly beautiful, it must be uplifting for the morality, or it can elevate people's state of mind. And in Greek, we see a very similar thinking. This is a Greek word, actually, and it combines two parts. The first part is kalo, it means beauty. And the second part is agasia. So this word together, kalo agasia, means both good and beautiful. So the Greek people actually create a word that describes this kind of ideal person that has both the goodness and the beauty of heart. So according to Plato, whatever is good can only be beautiful and vice versa. So from here, we can see both Eastern and Western philosophy, ancient thinking, both agree that beauty comes not just appears, what appears on the outside, but also comes from the inside. Beauty actually is deeply connected with our morality, with the inner quality of, our, of us as a person. So if we look around us, where can you see beauty nowadays in the true sense? Can you find beauty that's both pleasing and delightful for our sensory organs, but also nurtures our soul, our heart, and our mind? Can you find such beauty? Well, let me give you an example. to go back a little bit. Okay. Inspired by an ancient culture. This moment. Wow. Vigorous physicality. Beautiful and nimble master. 5,000 years of Chinese music and dance. Shen Yun presents authentic Chinese culture. Experience the divine. Experience Shen Yun. Two dates and tickets. Visit ShenYun.com. You know, one of the audiences, after he saw, she saw Shen Yun, she said that Shen Yun is beauty for the eye, beauty for the ear, and beauty for the heart. So all, all of Shen Yun artists, they all believe that art created with a clear and pure intention that are based upon traditional Chinese culture can animate positive energy. And this positive energy can in turn nurtures and awakens and resonates with the inner beauty, the inner goodness in each one of us. So now, let's take a look. Legends in May, music that is dancing at the lights. They were extraordinary artists. They were so together and they were so focused on the audience and what they were doing. I had enjoyed it enormously. The silks were gorgeous. The costuming was impeccable. 
the technology with the video and the backdrop was really, really unique. It was mind-blowing, really. I couldn't ask for a better ensemble of people. If I was directing something like this... Sensations. It's amazing. It's amazing. I've not seen anything like that in theater. A marvel everyone will enjoy. I'm anxious. I actually bought this uh, tickets for St. Louis to have my parents go and see it. So I'm anxious now. I had a chance to see it before them, and they're going to thoroughly love it, too. They love it. They love it. Everything's perfect. We had a wonderful afternoon. A wonderful afternoon. And we'll take it back to our community. A beautiful town from 5,000 years of Chinese culture and history. It gives us an insight into the Chinese civilization that perhaps we would never get in any other way. Well, it was it was beautiful, and you really were able to see a lot of depth and a lot of the uh, traditions and different stories and legends uh, come alive on stage, and it was spectacular. A magical experience. Magical. You know, when you see the hard work and the majesty and the beauty that goes into doing something like this, it makes you very respectful of things around the world. A new perspective on China. I think we saw China this time in a different way. Coming from heaven. Come see for yourself. And as soon as I saw the brochure, I said, this is something I've got to see. Immediately bought a ticket. And I'm not disappointed. It's been absolutely breathtaking. We've been very impressed. We didn't know what to expect. Um, the, it's world class. Everything about it. We looked on the web, checked it out, and said, wow, this looks terrific. Let's go try it out. So my wife and I came tonight and said, hey, this is outstanding. You know, when I come back, yeah. A performance not to be missed. It's something you have to see to believe. It's hard to describe, but once you've seen it, you'll want to tell everybody to come. Show you. Shenyun Performing Arts, it was well received by cordial standing ovation from audiences in the world-class theaters. And it was graced by the presence of the European royalties. Shenyun astounds North America with sold-out shows one after another. Shenyun can be hailed as the world's premier classical Chinese dance company. Is headquartered in New York of the United States. It was founded by a group of Chinese artists in 2006 with a mission to revive 5,000 years of Chinese civilization. And is it's a non-profit organization and its lofty mission has attracted over the eight years many young talents so right now, Shenyun has developed from one troop to four troops now. So every year now, four troops will be toured around the world simultaneously, each accompanied by a live orchestra. Okay, so you may wonder at this point. So within only eight years, how can one art group develop so fast? And what how can Shenyun pull off such a success? So what kind of organization is Shenyun? Well, let's take a closer look.
is one of the most renowned Chinese performing arts companies in the world. Based in New York, its mission is to revive 5,000 years of divinely inspired culture. In ancient China, poets and artists emphasized virtue, study, and meditation because they took to heart an ancient Chinese belief that to create true art, there must first be inner beauty and purity. Today, the artists of Xin Yun follow in this noble tradition of inner cultivation, which helps to bring an extraordinary depth to their work. Classical Chinese dance, which is Shen Yun's hallmark, is one of the most expressive and most demanding art forms in the world. Every year, Shen Yun creates a whole new production with original dances, costumes, and music. performing arts has dance, music, costume, and digital backdrop. The first one is the core of Shen Yun performances, classical Chinese dance. Classical Chinese dance has a history of several thousand years. In both folk and imperial settings, it served as entertainment for large gatherings and celebrations. Chinese dance has three main components, technical skill, form, and a special feature called physical yun, or bearing. Dance's technical skills include a whole series of challenging leaps, jumps, flips, and many difficult tumbling techniques. In martial arts, there are striking and flipping techniques that came from ancient battlefields. They were used for fending off blows and such. After they were passed down, they were no longer used for fighting. They were used for artistic performance in the imperial court. Over time, the artistic side predominated, and so they became a part of classical Chinese dance itself. I'm sorry. 
sorry, due to the limited time, I have to stop here. Um, but we can always explore each of these features at the official website of Shenyun. So I will come to the next feature of Shenyun, that is music. Shenyun's music is a perfect blend for um, of Eastern and Western music. And here you can see this is Shenyun Symphony Orchestra making its international debut at the Carnegie Hall of New York City on October 28, 2012. And ever since then, Shenyun Symphony Orchestra has its own inde independent tour before uh, Shenyun Performing Arts starts its world tour. And Many audiences, after they saw Shenmin performing and hear the Shenmin music, they feel very much touched. So let's see what they have to say. are beneficial to humanity in general. It's always happened late. Seriously, I love a lot of music like this tonight. This show like makes you love 10 years more. It has a righteous energy. It fills you with energy. I'm in pain 24 hours a day. And I don't take pain pills because they do not work. And I lost myself in music tonight. And I don't feel any pain right now. When people today are struck by such feelings during a performance, Perhaps they do not realize the ancient wisdom behind it all. The Chinese character or word for medicine comes from the word for music. When you add the grass radical to music, you get the word medicine. Ancient Chinese knew that music had the power to heal. Modern medicine has now proven this. Over the course of 5,000 years, the world view that man and heaven are one and that all matter has life, has permeated all aspects of Chinese culture, including music. The records of the Grand Historian states, Music is in harmony with heaven and earth. Virtuous, elegant music is in alignment with the motions of matter, and with principles of human health, it possesses a pure energy. So here you see the audience stood in ovation for the uh, Shenyun Symphony Orchestra musicians. Next, let's come to the third feature of Shenyun, and that is the costume. All of Shenyun's costumes are originally designed and professionally handmade, each one of them. And as you can see, all the costumes have very brilliant colors and exquisite workmanship. And all these combined to demonstrate the magnificence of different dynasties throughout the Chinese history. Next, let's come to the last feature. It's the last but not the least. It's the digital backdrop. Each one is a vivid representation of different landscapes or different time and space. It can take people to far away lands and travel through the time channel. So here you can see it can vividly represent different stories. And among these, you can see these are snapshots of the programs that Shen Yun performed in the past. This is the loyalty of Yue Fei, and the last one is the Yang clan and Mu Huiyin, um, the China's Amazons. And all these stories, for example, like this one, is the Buddhist monk who endured Da Qin He Shang. And this one shows the divine compassion, the heavenly kingdom in Buddhism. So all these programs, they all capture the essence of traditional Chinese culture. That is a combination of Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. And all these are the main components of the core in traditional Chinese culture. And all these little dance pieces take the audience to re-experience 
the, the inner sincerity, beauty, and courage, and propriety, all those lofty values that we seem so far away in our modern day because of our pursuit of interest or our pursuit of efficiency. But Shen Yun brings back all these lofty values back to life on stage. It allows people to re-experience them without words. And when people can really feel how, how that feels, you know, to be a righteous person, to be a courageous or loyal person uh, in that era, people would take that, take that feeling that they have and then they will in turn nourish, nourishes the goodness that originally lies within them. So that makes Shen Yun a show that can across, that crosses, transcends the barriers of race, age, social strata, nationality, you know, many people are kept in awe when they watch Shen Yun, or maybe they are even brought to tears. This is the finest thing, finest event I've ever been to in my life. I sat in the front row and I was in tears because of the human spirit, the dignity, the power, and the love. Coming out of those people. Is astounding. Fighting back tears, Mr. Krill says Shen Yun is the most powerful thing he's ever seen. I want to live in China. I want to tell them who you people are. They'll listen to me because they have to. This is the most powerful thing I've ever seen. It's the quintessential perfection of the human spirit and talent, and perfection. The eyes of those people. All were so unified in directedness. The perfection of their fingers was faultless, like no one could do without the Spirit of God in them. I am astounded. I mean, I, I'm paralyzed. If I could say to the American public, I said, if they believe they have seen fine talent, they owe it to themselves to see Shen Yun. Because this is the profound quintessential end of entertainment. There is nothing beyond this. Nothing. There's nothing beyond this. So it's really a chance in a lifetime to see Shen Yun. And Shen Yun actually is coming to town. Well, in fact, for the past eight years, many honorary Rotarians have attended Shen Yun, have seen Shen Yun before, including our President Sam. Um, so, for example, like the region 3480 uh, has co-sponsored Shen Yun for the third years in a row. And also, and also uh, this, there are seven altogether uh, presidents uh, from the Taoyuan County uh, Rotarian Clubs, they also seen, they also have seen Shen Yun and appreciated this performance. So, so I would like to. So, Huang Zhu is the fourth time in the world. We are here to be the first to see the first in the world. He is a master of performance. 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 He is a master of 各方面都非常非常的用心啊那个小时就两个字哦就是感动精彩巨论很感动我曾经有感动再感动来形容那个是内心的感受哈我现在没有办法形容我们中国这五千年文化的一个艺术表演是多么令人赞佩哦就是不
Yes, indeed. So you would have a great impact in our society. And, well, just now I heard you um, all recite the four-way test. And whenever I see the four-way test, I always think about Shen Yun. Why? Because I think Shen Yun, in the show, you can see Shen Yun wants to present the authentic, traditional Chinese culture. So it also seeks the truth. And Shen Yun is fair to all concerned, fair to all the audience around the world. Altogether, four troops are still growing. Um, travel around the world at the same time, um, hoping to spread the lofty, timeless, traditional values around the world and let people have the opportunity to experience for themselves. And then, of course, Shen Yun is a good way, it's a good bridge that you can build between your friends. And also, it's of course beneficial for all humanity. So, I know that Light Up Rotary is the chosen theme um, by our uh, international president, Gary Huang, Mr. Gary Huang, to be the theme for year 2014 and 2015. I think light up rotary that means the like the honorable rotarians at present now, you are all the light of this world. You are the light of respective society where you are. And you are the athlete strata in a society. And you should be the leaders and you are indeed the leaders because we know that as Rotarians you not only, yeah, Sherry is coming to town. As Rotarians, you not only um, achieve success in your professional area, but you also choose to care and you choose to make a difference by service. So we sincerely invite you to come and experience Shenyin for yourself this year. Shenyin is coming to Taiwan and it shows tours around Taiwan in seven cities this year. Uh, starts from um, March the 4th and lasts until April the 12th, over a month, uh, in seven cities. And Shenyin comes to Taichung during the period of March 18th until uh, March 22nd. It will show in Zhongshan Auditorium for five days in a row and all together six shows. So we cordially and sincerely invite you all to experience for yourself. And hopefully you can also support the mission, the efforts that Shen Yun artists are dedicated to making, to make the world a better place, to help Chinese society, Taiwanese society change for the better. For any ticketing services, we will be glad to provide, if you may need it. So, the world has to get to the year 2015. By all the organizers, we will be That's all for my introduction. Ms. Wu, is there any question you would like to raise up? <coughs> Hi, Meryl. Uh, thank you for coming today. Um, uh, I'm not going to get into a debate about whether I believe <laughs> Actually, uh, I always thought she was a But uh, in front of your speech and from some there are also a message that trying to uh, 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 
pass on or try to teach to your the very essence, the quintessential essence of Taoism, Confucianism, and Buddhism. That is, well, to put it simply, it's the reverence for the heavens, it's the respect that we have among us, among us humankind, and towards our surroundings. I think, well, as you can see in the four minute uh, short film that introduces Shen Yun, all the artists, they all are cultivators. They cultivate themselves to have this um, inner beauty in order to, in order to present artistic mastery even better and better. I think if you say, uh, is there a message that Shen wants to convey, that would be the universal language. And I, I think that's why all the audience that you see here, they are from different backgrounds, they are from different pro professions, and you can see also they are from different nationalities. But they all, when they speak of Shen Yun, their eyes all spark with, you know, light. You know, they, they, their faces radiate. Their hearts are touched, deeply moved by... Please,